Forget everything you thought you knew about integrated graphics, we're about to embark on a journey that will completely redefine your expectations. AMD is about to change the game again. Hey everyone, if you thought their previous innovations were impressive, just wait until you hear what they have in store next. Today we're diving into AMD's upcoming Zen 6 APUs for laptops, codenamed Medusa Point. This new line promises to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible in mobile computing. These are the successors to the current Strix Point, Strix Halo, and Kraken Point series. Each iteration has brought significant improvements, and Medusa Point is no exception. Now here's the juicy bit. This is where things get really interesting. Medusa Point is rumored to use an updated RDNA 3. X architecture for its integrated GPU, instead of the RDNA 4 or RDNA 5 we all anticipated. This decision has sparked a lot of discussions in the tech community. This leak comes from Golden Pig Upgrade on Weibo. If you're not familiar, Golden Pig Upgrade has a solid track record for accurate leaks. So, what's the deal with RDNA 3X? Why stick with an older architecture when newer ones are available? Well, RDNA 3.5 is already rocking several Zen 5 mobile APUs proving itself more than capable. It's a tried and tested architecture that delivers impressive performance. In fact, it often eliminates the need for a low-end dedicated GPU. This means you can get great performance without the extra cost and power consumption of a separate GPU. Think about that for a second. Imagine the possibilities for both gamers and professionals who rely on powerful graphics. Your laptop's integrated graphics could handle your gaming needs without breaking a sweat. This could be a game changer for those who want high performance on the go. Just look at how well the current Strix APUs perform. They set a high bar, and Medusa Point aims to raise it even higher. But here's where it gets interesting. The choice of RDNA 3. X over newer architectures raises some intriguing questions. While RDNA 4 is more advanced, the real question is, can Medusa Point deliver in real-world performance? It's not just about the specs on paper, but how it performs in everyday use. It's all about those frame rates and seamless gameplay, right? Gamers want smooth, lag-free experiences, and that's what Medusa Point aims to provide. Plus, the competition is heating up with Intel's Panther Lake and its XE3 architecture coming later this year. The battle for the best integrated graphics is on. Official details about Medusa Point's iGPU are still under wraps, but we're expecting some big news in the second half of 2025. Mark your calendars because this is going to be huge, so keep your eyes peeled for that, we'll be keeping a close watch on any updates and leaks. Now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on AMD's decision to stick with RDNA3.x? Do you think it's a smart move or a missed opportunity? What do you think about AMD sticking with RDNA3.x? Your opinions matter, and we love hearing from our community. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going and see what everyone thinks about this exciting development. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more tech updates. Stay tuned for more in-depth analyses and the latest news in the tech world. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring the world of technology.